Hey, what's up everybody? It's the Hyphenate here. And today I'm gonna show you guys how to control your Elgato lights wirelessly with the Elgato Stream Deck. This will work with any of the Elgato lights, the ring light, key light, or key light air. Here in this studio, I have two key lights, one on each shelf. They're both connected to the power and they are currently on. Now let's go download and install the Stream Deck software so we can control the lights through the Stream Deck. Go to the Elgato website, click on downloads, then Choose your operating system and then select your product. I have the Stream Deck XL, so I'm gonna click on that. Download and install the software. Make sure that your Stream Deck is connected to your computer via USB and then launch the Stream Deck software. Here we have a blank profile here. If I click on the top left where it says Stream Deck XL, here you can see the connected devices. I only have the Stream Deck XL, so that's what I have selected with the little check mark. And then you can also add a mobile device. You can actually download a Stream Deck app on your phone and control it with your phone. But I have the physical device, so I'm gonna leave it here. Now, under that, we have profile. Here, I have a blank profile that I'm starting. So this one has nothing on it. I'm gonna get rid of this Elgato welcome button, delete, and delete. Now, in order to add the functions to control the Elgato control center to control the lights, we have to go and look for it here on the side I have mine right here, control center, and you see that we can actually have programmed buttons for on off, set brightness, adjust brightness, set temperature, adjust temperatures, and set color. So I'm gonna start off first with the on off. So I'm gonna click and drag that into a button for my stream deck. Now here, it gives me an icon already, and I'm gonna title this lights. Now here, I can choose what accessory it controls, the left light, right light, or all, I'm gonna set it to all. So now it's on the Stream Deck. Anything that I do to the Stream Deck software will instantly get updated to the physical Stream Deck that's connected via USB. So here on the Stream Deck, if I click the power button, the lights go off. Click it again, lights back on. All right, so now let's continue. Here we're gonna do set brightness. I'm gonna click and drag that into a button. Now set brightness will allow you to specifically choose the brightness you want for the light from 3% all the way to 100%. So we're gonna go to, let's just say 50%. Now with the set brightness, you can only do this for one light. So you can choose which light you want. I'm gonna choose the left light and I'm gonna call this left 50. Now once you press this button, it's gonna instantly go to 50% power on that specified light. If you wanna do it also to the right light, then you're gonna have to also make another button for the right light. Now, personally, I actually like to have a button for each light that sets it to 100%. And then if I wanna dim the light, what I actually do is add a button for adjust brightness. So we're gonna go ahead and click and drag that. Now for set brightness, this also only works for one light. And if you wanna do it for two lights, you're gonna have to have two separate buttons, one for each light. Now I'm gonna leave this on the left light accessory so that it controls only the left light. And then step size, click on that. Now this will tell you the increments that you can actually adjust every time you press the button. So we're gonna go plus 10%. So I'm gonna click on that, and then I'm gonna title this left plus 10. Now, no matter what power setting I'm at, whether it's 50%, 3%, etc., the moment I press this button, it's going to increase by 10%. So I can keep pressing that till I get to 100%. But now if I wanna dim it, I actually have to create another button. So let's take another adjust brightness, add that on. And now here, I'm gonna make sure that it's also on the left light. And then I'm gonna go to negative 10% and I'm gonna call this left negative 10. So now if I click on the negative 10, it's gonna keep stopping down 10% every time I press the button. And if I do the plus 10 button, then that's gonna go up 10% every time I press the button. And if I press the actual set brightness, that's gonna to go to whatever percentage I have set for that button. So generally, I'll have a set 100% so that I can make sure I instantly go to full brightness, and then I'll have a button for each light that goes plus 10 and negative 10. So here we go. Let me show you on the left light what I've done so far. Again, I can power it on or off with the Stream Deck. If I press left 50, it's gonna to cut to 50% power. If I wanna go up 10%, I can just keep tapping that until it goes brighter, and then I can do negative 10. Every time I click it, it goes down and then set 50%, bang, back to 50, and then up 10, et cetera. Now again, each one of those functions works to only control one light at a time, so you're gonna have to create other buttons for other lights. The only one that can control all the lights is the power button. 
Now for the set temperature and adjust temperature, it works exactly the way the set brightness and adjust brightness work. So I'm not gonna show you how to do it, but just know it worked the same. Set color does not work on the key light or the key light air, so I'm not gonna be going over that in this video. But if you had a light that can change color, you can use that button there. So there you guys have it. That's how you control your Elgato lights wirelessly with the Stream Deck. Now, if you want more tutorials on the Stream Deck, I do have other videos on this channel and a lot more coming soon. I do have a link in the description of this video that has a wide variety of videos on how to use the Stream Deck in OBS, for multicams, etc. If you guys are interested in getting any of the equipment that I use, I do have links in the description where you can purchase them from either B&H Photo or Amazon. It doesn't change the price that you get it at, but it does help this channel. Please make sure to drop a like on this video, drop a comment below if you have any questions, and please make sure to subscribe. I have a lot more videos coming soon. I'll catch you guys on the next one. Peace.